After the great fire of 1871, my beloved hometown of Chicago, which destroyed nearly everything I owned, I spent my days helping those whose losses were greater than mine. I worked with my dear friend, Dwight Moody, to do whatever we could to help our neighbors. Out of this, I began to feel the Lord's calling to know Him evermore and to pursue a different path for my life. A couple of years after the great fire, my beloved wife, Anna, and our four young daughters set sail to Europe for an extended vacation and a visit with Mr. Moody as he preached throughout England. At the last minute, I was detained on business and would have had to follow them later. While in New York, booking them on their passage, I felt a need to change their cabins from midship to the bow. Why I did this, I just felt it had to be done. What tragedy! My heart is broken into pieces. Why, oh God, did you take my children from me? Just days after leaving my arms, my precious children passed into his arms as the ship sank to the ocean's bottom, rammed midships. Anna survived. After receiving Anna's telegram, which simply read, Saved alone, what shall I do? I set out immediately to bring my beloved and heartbroken Anna home. One day during the crossing, the captain calls me to the bridge. He shows me on his chart where we are and tells me it is here that Annie Margaret Lee, Elizabeth, my infant Tanietta went home to be with Jesus. And returning to my cabin, I pour out my anguish and my continued dependence upon my Savior. Despite my utterly broken heart, I know that peace which flows through my life comes from the blood of Christ which was shed for me. No matter the hardships or trials which Satan may throw my way, I can rest in the comfort of my Savior. A few years later, Horatio, Anna, and their two young daughters, born after the tragedy, Bertha and Grace, moved to Jerusalem. They established the American colony and dedicated the remainder of their lives to the care of the poor and the needy without regard to faith status. Horatio died of malaria in 1888 and was buried in Mount Zion Cemetery in Jerusalem. Anna continued their labors in Jerusalem until her death in 1923. Her daughter Bertha also lived her entire life in Jerusalem.